In this video, we are going to take a closer look at something called the Sprite Atlas, which is a new feature in Unity 2017. If you want to test it out yourself, you can find a download link to Unity 2017 in the description below. And also, if you want to use these project files that I'm working on here, you can go to the description as well and find a download link to this project. So, the first thing we have to do, so before we um, use our Atlas, is to create it. So you can go to our asset folder and right click and go to create and then there should be something called a sprite atlas but remember this only exists in unity 2017 so create and sprite atlas so this is my new atlas i'm going to call it object atlas because it's going to contain some different objects so what's the point in these atlases well an atlas can pack a lot of sprites in it so that we can use this atlas to load them at runtime right so we don't have to go to the asset folder and pick each sprite out. So let's see, we have the sprite atlas here. And in the sprite atlas, we would like to apply or add all these uh, sprites I have here. So to do that, I can go back, select my atlas, take the objects folder here and drag it onto the atlas. So now you'll see the objects has been added to this atlas. So if I click the preview window, I'm able to see all the sprites that has been added to this atlas. So now we have an atlas with all these sprites. So let's try to make a script that actually uses these. First of all, I would like to create a new sprite. I have a sprite example here. And basically, it's just a sprite to the object sprite here. I'm just going to name it sprite example. So let's take a look at how we can use the sprite atlas to change the sprite at runtime. Um, yeah, let's create a new script. We can call it uh, Atlas Test. And let's add the script to our new sprite here. In my objects folder, I have some different sprites. I'm going to make an enumeration that can use, uh, that can take these names and place them as a sprite. And when the Atlas, uh, when the Atlas script is open, I'm going to create an enumeration called sprite type. I just copied the paste this so I don't have to write it, but all these names here, right, as you can see, they they correspond to a name of each sprite here so that I can use the string of this. Okay, so now I have an enum type. Well, I need to be able to set it, so I'm going to make a private uh, sprite type and call it uh, current type. I'm going to serialize this field so that I can save this and go to Unity and select my sprite example and select what kind of sprite I want to show on this um, 2D sprite in my game world. But this atlas needs a, or the atlas script needs a reference to the atlas, right? So I'm going to say private sprite atlas I'm going to right click quick actions using Unity Engine 2D, U2D, and I'm going to call it Atlas. So this is my Atlas. I'm also going to serialize this field so that I can actually access this. There we go. So now I need to add the reference for this Atlas here. So I take my asset folder and add it here. So now I have a reference to the atlas that actually contains all the sprites. And that means that I could actually go here and say, well, I need a sprite renderer. This is my renderer. So if I say my renderer equals get component sprite renderer, Then I should be able to say, well, I want to change the sprite based on the atlas. So I can say my renderer dot sprite equals atlas dot get sprite. And then I can simply write the name of the sprite I want. So let's see what kind of sprites do we have. We have a sprite called um, create. Let's try to write create. And if I run it now should take the crate as you can see so now it's using the crate here because it accesses 
the sprite atlas and changes it. So this current type is not used right now. So we need to delete this. And we have to make a new function called change sprite. And in here we say if our, let's see what is it called, current type is different from, well, we need to make another type, sprite, sprite type, called last type. So if my current type is different from the last type I had, well, then I simply say um, my renderer.sprite equals um, atlas dot get sprite current type dot sprite uh, to string I mean then I simply set the type so every time I change this current type here it will check if it has changed and then change it and then I simply have to say last type equals current type and save I need to call change sprite and update And then I need to set a standard current type. My current type should be I is push slash actually. Let's just say our last type is equal to sprite type dot um, create or something. So if we do like this and open Unity and play the game, it should switch to the push. And there it is. So this is not foolproof code or anything. It's simply just for demonstrating this, right? So we have the bush. We can go up here and say it should be a small one, should be a dead one, or a crate, or arrow sign, or square, or whatever we want it to be. So there you can, there you have it. This is how you can actually change the sprites at runtime. And as you can see, they're pretty small these sprites. So let's say that this should be. Um, 25 instead. Let's try one more time. There we go. So now we have some larger sprites. But anyway, yeah, that's how you can use the Sprite Atlas to change your sprites at runtime. There are other functions on the Spr Sprite Atlas. I just figured that this would be yeah, the most interesting one to show. So thank you very much for watching. And remember that you can download the project files in the description below. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.